What's up PVZ fans, it's Strangelove here, and for this video we're taking a closer look at the Flag of Power in Garden Warfare 2, which you can see in this exclusive developer gameplay footage that was given to myself and some other YouTubers as well. The Flag of Power is where the central battle takes place in the Backyard Battleground, and if you want a deeper look at some of the other Backyard Battleground features, go ahead and check out my video on that. Alright, so in this middle section of the backyard where the plant and zombie sides sort of overlap, there's a flagpole called the Flag of Power, and to begin a backyard battle, you'll need to raise this Flag of Power and defend it from multiple waves of enemies, much like defending a garden in Garden Ops. Now, as you can see, there are four spots on each corner around the Flag of Power where you can spawn consumables, and if we look closely, it appears there may also be spots in front of the main gate on the zombie side to spawn consumables there as well for some added protection, and this would likely be the same thing for the treehouse side if you're playing as a plant. So after you raise the Flag of Power, you'll start to defend against multiple waves of enemies, and each wave is going to consist of a specific type of plant if you're playing as a zombie, or a specific type of zombie if you're playing as a plant. Now the goal is to prevent the enemies from standing within the glowing circle around the Flag of Power, because this causes the flag to gradually shift into the enemy's control, similarly to gardens and graveyards. Keep your eye on this meter at the top of the display, because this tells you if your enemies are on the flag, and roughly how much longer you have to defend the flag for. During each wave, you'll see these random boxes that spawn throughout the backyard. These are called reinforcement crates, and they allow for AI helpers to come and join you for the battle and help defend the flag depending on how quickly you destroy the crate. The crates can also drop coins, so make sure to fire away at these random boxes as soon as you see them pop up to get whatever goodies they might have inside. After you've successfully fended off a few waves of enemies, a boss wave will occur. And from what I've seen, a boss wave will usually include at least two bosses along with a bunch of other AI enemies, as the waves normally do. So if you're not in the mood to load up a multiplayer or a solo ops match, but you want to keep leveling up your characters, raising the flag of power in the backyard battleground is a great way to earn extra coins and XP, and you can even invite your friends to join the chaos. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief rundown of the Flag of Power coming to Garden Warfare 2, and if you're looking forward to more Garden Warfare 2 content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video to show your support. As always, thank you so much for watching, stay strange my loves, and until the next video, this is Strangelove signing out.